harsh lighting and a terrible angle, but we're gonna go with it. What's up guys, welcome to the video. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I had nothing planned for my video on Sunday, so I'm gonna record some stuff and see what I come up with. Um, it's Friday, uh, like six o'clock, 5.30. Um, I just got to the gym, I'm gonna do a little workout. I had to work today, so. Um, Friday is the one day I get to sleep in before work, so I didn't get up and work out this morning. I just figured I'd come tonight. Um, for those of you that are new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. People that have been here before, thank you for coming back. Um, my name is Ashlyn, and yeah, we're just going to do a vlog today. This intro is terrible. Guys, it's been a week. Anyways, I'm excited to get going. I have my pea science um, I think I have prolific today. Pre-workout, I'm gonna drink this real quick and then get going. guys could tell um, while I was on the bike probably not I was a little far away I was breathing I did three minutes just light pace light intensity I was breathing through my nose the whole time um, this is something that we've been working a lot with our members on recently is um, nose breathing mostly in warm-ups um, because we want to make sure that we're training our anaerobic fitness as well as our aerobic fitness, meaning um, how your body is breathing with or without oxygen. Um, and a lot of trainers, you hear a lot of people talking about matching your breath to your movement when you're working out um, and breathing out really hard, say when you're standing up from a squat in the concentric part of the movement, which is when you're standing up. Um, exhale really hard, which in some cases, is beneficial and that's true and you do want to do that however when you're continuously when you're breathing really really hard and really fast and exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling really hard and fast you're not taking in as much oxygen because the carbon dioxide that you just exhaled is right there and you're sucking it right back in your body so in cases like that when you're breathing through your mouth your body's not really utilizing oxygen very efficiently um, so we've been trying to work on nose breathing with our members because it helps train your body to use oxygen more efficiently when it has it. You have to slow your pace way down. Um, so where during warm up I'd be riding like 55, 60 RPMs. Nose breathing I have to go down to like 50, um, somewhere like 48 to 50. But you feel over time a lot better um, and a lot more in control of your breathing and your exertion than you do when you're just breathing really hard in and out, going super fast and intense. Um, you could do a whole hour and a half long video on something like that, but if you guys have any questions, leave comments down below. Um, Wade knows a lot about it. He's been kind of teaching, my boss Wade, um, kind of teaching us bits and pieces. Um, we did a workshop about it last month. Um, and it's super interesting and really crazy how your body starts to process, um, process oxygen and and start to function and use um, the air that you're breathing in when you are training that during working out. So um, ultimately, the goal is to be able to do a whole workout like that. We're a long way from there, but we're getting there. It's a very, very cool. I'm gonna start lifting now, but I wanted to show you guys. Got myself a little present. Got my first pair of lifters. I'm so excited to use these. 
These are the Reebok Legacy Lifters. Um, I was looking at like Nike Romaleos are super popular. I was looking at those. These are popular. Nobles have Noble has lifters as well. Um, however, Nobles are three hundred dollars. Romaleos these are also two hundred dollars. So are Romaleos, but these they let you use discount codes on. So they had a forty percent off. I got these bad boys for one hundred twenty bucks. So I'm gonna do some cleans and push presses today and see how they feel. They are very very stiff. Um, but like very padded as well. It's kind of confusing. Um, but I'm really pumped to use these. I'm going to wear these at the beginning of my workout and then the end I'll switch back to my, um, noble trainers, but yeah, I'm excited. Let's see how they feel. pretty but we got it definitely there's no mirrors in here so definitely all about getting the feel for it but triples at 125 isn't too bad Shoes are real nice, guys. I'm a fan. They have, they're kind of weird. Like they're super flat and sturdy on the bottom of your foot, but they have good arch support at the same time. And then the toe box, there's two straps, Velcro straps. So your foot feels super secure, but it's also not like, the top of the shoe isn't uncomfortable, if that makes sense. So these are awesome. Definitely a good purchase. Let's keep going.
a lot tougher than I thought it would be. One of my clients said that the other day. He crushed it. But he was struggling. It's hard. <clears throat> Especially because that was eight, so that was eight cleans. Hang power cleans followed by six push press. And most people can clean a lot more than they can press. So you wanna go heavy and then you realize you can't press. I've also pre push pressed, hit myself in the chin a few times and shit my teeth. So sometimes it makes me a little nervous, especially when I've got heavy weight and I'm really exploding up. I can't get my head out of the way fast enough. I hit my chin, so. I like these, um, my feet are a little bit sore. Um, but I think it's just that they're not used to wearing shoes that feel like this. This is the first time I've ever had a pair of lifters, so I'm really excited. I historically was really just a power lifter. Um, like, I don't have a lot of experience in Olympic lifting. Um, I freaking love power lifting, which is the bench press, deadlift, and squat. Um, but since I started working here, um, I haven't really snatched at all, but I've been working a lot more on the clean than I was in the past, so. Still a little rusty. I've always had trouble getting underneath the bar. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on probably the most. Um, but so far so good. I think movements like that are really fun, so I'll definitely keep be, keep trying them. Hopefully get my Olympic lifting certification eventually. Maybe do a competition, who knows. But I've got an EMOM and then probably a little conditioning to end the night. So switched back into my Noble trainers. These are also phenomenal. A little pricey. Well, they're not terrible. You just can't get them on sale ever. Um, but highly recommend these. They have tons of really cool designs, plain ones too. Um, and their clothes supposedly are pretty good as well. I haven't tried their clothes yet, but they have a really cool jacket coming out next Friday that I think I'm gonna order because I have no self-control. But, yep, gonna finish up with um, a 12 minute alternating EMOM of offset barbell press, which is killer, and um, Barbara Burpees and needs to chest. So that one I posted, this, this email I posted on my Instagram the other day. Um, I'll put my handle over here. So if you want a better explanation of what this is, um, as well as like rep ranges and stuff, take a look there. And I may close out with some conditioning, but I'm not sure, we'll see how I feel. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day, so I may call it a night after that. I'm just wasting time now. Let's go.
That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Whew. That was a good one. You think? I'm gonna call it a night because it's almost six, I'm almost seven. Still have two hours minimum of work to do tonight. And we have class in the morning, so I gotta be up at like 5.30. And I haven't eaten much today. Wade and I are filming conditioning videos for our members tomorrow, so I'll probably be burning just in workouts close to a thousand calories tomorrow, if not more. So I'm gonna call it a day there. That was a good one. Like I said, that EMOM is on my Instagram. Um, if you guys want a little better explanation of what I was actually doing um, and why, go check it out. And yeah, I'm gonna drink some protein, head out. Eat some dinner and get to work. All right, so in the words of me and Maples, I look kind of busted, but I obviously I got home, I showered, I ate one of my meal preps, and I figured I would show you guys my skincare routine. I feel goofy saying that, but um, as I'm getting older, I'm trying very, very hard to take better care of my skin because I've always had like pretty good skin genetically and um, throughout like high school I honestly barely could like get into a routine of washing, even just washing my face morning and night. So I'm getting older, um, trying to avoid breakouts, obviously I'm sweating a lot, I'm moving around a lot, so I have been using Tula, I figured I would just show you guys. I got some new stuff in the mail the other day too. so. Um, I'm gonna try it out, but this is the lineup. I low-key cannot wait to have my own place so I can like display this stuff in my bathroom because look how cute it is. Everything's Tula except for this. Um, and I'll kind of go through what everything is. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit extra than normal today. I might even be kind of bougie and do a mask, but We'll see. All right, first thing I'm gonna start with is this Kapari um, cleansing oil. I was trying Kapari stuff for a while. This is all natural as well. Um, I'm trying to also with like all my personal care products, trying to be really careful about the ingredients in those, um, especially with how bad my skin has been lately um, with my eczema to make sure that things I'm putting in and on my body are a lot more natural um, free of parabens and things like that so um, I've been using this for a while trying to avoid using makeup wipes for the trash as well there's a lot of trash I'm trying to avoid with that and um, I just find that this is gentler on my skin I'm um, trying to avoid all the pulling and rubbing and stuff like that so um, once this is gone I'll probably actually I think I have another uh, cleansing oil I'll use but this is what I use to take off my makeup um it does a really good job on eye makeup too um you look kind of crazy when you're putting it on but it does the job very very well um and it's very fresh it doesn't feel slimy it doesn't smell um I don't have much makeup on right now because I work from home today um but I probably still have some stuff left over so I'm gonna cleanse with this real quick I usually put this on um dry skin so I'll just put it in my hands, rub it on my face before getting my face wet, and then I will rinse my face after. Fun fact, I had really long hair growing up until like a couple months ago. Um, and for some ball, I was obsessed with headbands, but I would never wear them. I would always get the thick ones like this, and I would always wear them like over the front of my hairline. And I just thought it looked so freaking cool. And now I do it and I'm like, you look bald. To each their own. Some people can pull it off. With the short hair, I definitely cannot, but you know. Gotta keep those baby hairs away. So I just rub this around my hands. I wear very light makeup most of the time. Um, I don't even have foundation on most days. 
so this does a good enough job even when i do wear like a full face too it still does a really good job of getting everything Right, step one. Now this, I just got in the mail the other day. Oh my God, I looked terrible. Just got this in the mail. This is the Soul Polish Sugar Scrub, scrub from Tula. Um, it's a exfoliating like treatment. It's not a mask. You just use it kind of like a cleanser. Um, but it's got um, sugar crystals in there, sugar and fruit enzyme scrub, Sugar particles exfoliate to get rid of oil buildup and debris. Papaya and pineapple enzymes help to unclog pores for a decreased appearance of blackhead. So it says use this two to four times per week. Um, and I haven't used this yet. I've heard great things about this, so I'm excited. It smells very fresh, not intense at all. So it doesn't say to wet your face before this either. Um, one thing I've heard about, oh, it is really like, it's not thick. And it doesn't feel like super intense. Like the crystals are really tiny. Um, when I use like body scrubs, I literally sometimes feel like I'm like scraping away my skin. So I obviously don't want to use those on my face. But it feels good. Um, last thing I'm going to do as far as washing is just the standard cleanser, purifying face cleanser. This is super gentle, doesn't smell, doesn't sting. Um, it's just very like, it's just a very nice like finishing cleanser. Probably like a nickel size. Rub that in. And then for this, I use my little Foreo. Um, this is like the mini sized Luna. It's called the Luna Play. Um, it just helps get in a little bit better than my hands. Um, and definitely when I have pimples, I notice it helps get rid of them a little bit faster because I can focus on those areas too. done last two things are just moisturizer this is the day and night hydrating day and night cream just their standard moisturizer freaking love this this also um i go through pretty quick but this is a huge container um just put that all over sometimes i'll do this in the morning as well depends how my skin feels um i don't always do it in the morning I'm just gonna use the viewfinder for this part. A little goes a long way with this, um, but it's also not like overly heavy where if you do feel a little more dry, you can use more. Don't forget your neck, very important. I still can't get over it. They just redid their packaging. How freaking cute is that? I love it. And last but not least, got a little eye cream. I was using a little like 
under eye treatment that was supposed to help with like brightening and color correcting and getting rid of dark circles because I have really bad dark circles um, no matter how much I sleep and it was making my eyes so freaking dry they were like peeling so I use this morning and night every single day and it's a freaking game changer um, this lasts forever because it's thick and you have to use like the tiniest little film of it um, but really like that this I use um, in the morning after I use the toner just to get rid of anything that um, kind of carried over over the night or came off my pillow and then I followed up with this um, and that's all I do in the morning but, pale my hair looks kind of crazy but not too bad and that usually takes me because I was talking it took longer but usually like my morning skincare routine takes like 30 seconds literally and my nighttime one takes two minutes three maybe if if you count me going back into my room to use my moisturizer then call it five but um I'm all about quick because when I get home it's usually late and I need to get right to bed and when I get up in the morning I'm usually rushing to get out the door so I just do the basics. I don't have time for 15 steps and serums and this and that and whatever, nor do I have the money. Um, the stuff I find is affordable enough that for how long it lasts and what good it does for you um, and how natural it is, it's worth it. And it doesn't completely break the bank. So I like it. Not sponsored, obviously. Um, I don't have any relationship with Tula. I just really like their stuff. So um, Meg Squats is a girl that... Um, I follow on Instagram and watch on YouTube a lot. She has a discount code for Tula. You can save 20% um, if you use that and support her. But um, yeah, I have no idea if that was interesting. Hopefully it was. Um, I'm probably going to end the video here. I know that was kind of a lot of like random impromptu stuff. Um, hopefully you enjoyed some of the info I gave you during my workout. I have a lot to do tomorrow, but nothing that I can really like film. So I'm probably just going to call it a day here. A lot of my videos coming up are going to be super like random and probably impromptu because things right now with work are just freaking insane and the holidays are coming up. So obviously I want to make sure I'm spending time with my family um, and not forgetting to, to focus on them too. So I will be back hopefully a little more consistently. When the new year starts that's gonna be my resolution is to really get into youtube i really enjoy making these videos um and i think i have a lot of fun information that i can share with you guys so um stay tuned if there's anything you do want to see please let me know down below it really helps me um focus on what is most important i mean what you guys really want to see the most so thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one